Hey guys, welcome back to your another video of Tech Wafer. Hopefully you're having a great day. Deal here, your host. And in this video, I'm about to show you a comprehensive guide on macOS Sonoma, the new feature that it has. So these are the features that are worth checking out on the new operating system. And if you are thinking about upgrading, you've come to the right place. Let's dive right in. First off, let's start off with the desktop enhancement. First up, the interactive desktop widgets. These widgets now fade into the background when not in use. To make these permanent, go to the system setting, then go to the desktop and dock and under the widget section, set the widget style to monochrome and it is my personal favorite. It looks clean, dope and minimalist at the same time. macOS Sonoma keeps the system setting interface from Ventura but it also adds the backward and forward buttons. Now you can easily navigate through different menu screens you have visited without endless scrolling through the sidebar. It is simple yet an elegant change and it is indeed a welcoming addition to the new operating system. No more typing in all caps by accident. In macOS Sonoma, if caps lock is on, a handy indicator appears near the cursor. Plus, the text cursor is more visible and changes color relative to an active app. By default, this new operating system hides all the windows when you click on your wallpaper but you can limit this behavior to only happen in stage manager. To do so, go to the system setting, into the desktop and dock and adjust this setting. You can also access system setting like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, dark mode directly in spotlight search. It's a quick way to toggle to the settings on the fly. And now users can customize when the menu bar automatically hides. And for that, you need to visit system settings and the control center. Choose from the various options available as per your preference. Sonoma brings all the Apple TV screensaver to your Mac. They download on demand to save on storage and they look great. The way to get best out of them though is to use the same video for your wallpaper and screensaver. And you can do this by going into the system setting and then wallpaper and enable the show as wallpaper mode. And by doing so, you will add a dynamic touch to your desktop. Users can share iCloud photos by generating iCloud link. Select a photo, click on share and then choose copy iCloud link. It is a convenient way to share your memories. On Apple Silicon Mac, you can activate Siri with just Siri making it more intuitive. And you can enable this under Siri and Spotlight setting if needed. And now moving on to the users with AirTags. They can now share AirTags with multiple people and collaboratively track items and easily locate shared belongings. Another cool feature in terms of utility is Mail now clearly marks email attachments making it easier to identify and respond to the emails with attachments. If you are a business person who attends a lot of meetings online or you are a family man who calls his family too often, then these new improvements in FaceTime are definitely going to hit you. Apple has revamped the FaceTime. Reactions like love, dislike, like and more have moved to a dedicated menu bar plus some reactions are triggered automatically by your actions. One thumbs up triggers a like, while two thumbs up initiate fireworks. It definitely adds fun and expressiveness to your calls and it is my personal favorite. Studio light and background blur enhances your video calls. Studio light adjusts lighting while the portrait slider controls the background blur. These features makes your video call look more professional and polished. For FaceTime and Zoom calls, the new presenter overlay keeps you on screen, allowing you to point to the details you can place yourself inside a movable bubble or bring on-screen content into your environment. Screen sharing gets a boost with a high performance mode. It offers native solution, lower latency and improved image quality. It also offers HDR and multi-monitor support. It's a feature worth trying for remote collaboration. And now let's talk about keyboard and text improvements. macOS Sonoma now supports simultaneous use of keyboard input and dictation without disruption. Simply assign a dictation shortcut in the system settings under keyboard. It is a game changer for those moments when you want to take a break from typing but still create content. The text prediction has improved significantly with the transformer language model. It learns your preferences and suggests text ahead of your cursor. If you find it distracting, you can toggle it off under system setting and keyboard options. Apple has really worked on notes this time around and you can now seamlessly transfer notes from notes app to pages for further editing and saving in various formats like PDF and Word. It is a fantastic addition for anyone who uses both apps regularly. And managing PDFs in notes is now more user friendly. PDFs are presented full width allowing you to view individual pages and quickly navigate using thumbnails. 
it is perfect for reviewing multiple PDFs in just one note. Also, linking notes together is easier than ever. Right click on a space, word or a phrase and then select add link. You can also use command plus k shortcut to link another note, creating an efficient way to navigate your thoughts. If you prefer a quicker method, typing two greater than symbols into a note creates a list of your most recently modified notes, allowing you to add links easily. It is a great way to organize your ideas and connections. You can also find improvements in the reminder section in the macOS Sonoma. And the reminder app simplifies the grocery shopping with categorized list. Create a grocery list and it will automatically organize your item by category for easy shopping. Now you can enjoy a new column view in the reminder app. It is a scrollable view that makes visualizing your tasks a breeze. Apple has also improved messages and communication section in new macOS. In macOS Sonoma, verification code messages can also be deleted automatically after use. Enable this feature in Safari's setting under password and under the verification codes. It is a neat way to keep your messages clutter free. Now that we are already talking about Safari, let's dive into the Safari browser updates that Apple has provided in the new operating system. Safari introduces profiles to keep your browsing separate for different tasks. Go to Safari and under setting you can create custom profile each with its own symbol, color and favorite folder. It is perfect for work, school and personal tasks, streamlining your online life as per your usage. Also you can now create standalone web apps in Safari and add them to your dock. Just visit a website, then go to File and select Add to Dock. Give it a name and change its color. Once you do that, the app will appear in Dock and whenever you click on it, it will open in a separate window. That will definitely help you simplify the navigation. Safari can now remove tracking parameters from URL to prevent cross-website tracking. Enable this feature in Safari under Setting and into the Advanced option. It is indeed a valuable privacy enhancement. Safari now displays Fav icon in the Favorites bar. Making it easier to identify websites, you can toggle them off by right clicking on the bar and unchecking show icons. But I would rather not do that. Let macOS automatically close Safari tabs based on your viewing habits. Customize this feature under Safari settings into the tabs section. It helps keep your browser organized and clean. Another critical update that we need to talk about is Safari's password menu now includes share password with family. You can share passwords and pass keys with trusted contacts, making password management a breeze. You can now enhance privacy with private browser authentication in Safari. Your Mac password or Touch ID is required to access private browsing tab, which adds an extra layer of security. The next feature that I'm about to talk about is perfect for gamers. They can now disable pointer acceleration and to do so, they need to go to the system setting and then into the mouse and advanced section and to toggle it off or on depending on their choice. There's a mode known as active game mode and gamers can take note. Game mode prioritizes CPU and GPU for gamers reducing background task usage. It activates automatically when you play a game in full screen mode. You can also turn it on and off manually. Okay guys, so these were the updates that I found really useful and entertaining at the same time. If you found this video helpful, press the like button and smash that subscribe button. I'll be back with more videos and catch you soon. Till then, peace out.